Welcome to another one of my on the bench videos. This time we have a Sony ES series player. It's called CDP302 ES. It is picked because um, of its excellent making. It's one of the best ever made Sony BU1. They just don't make them like that anymore. This player used to be in storage apparently for years and all been seized up mechanism um, it has been cleaned a bit by a previous repair workshop uh, not fully successfully it just uh, wasn't behaving now with um, all the grease removed and all the switches cleaned the mechanical part of it works very nice and quiet no problem at all. The laser hunts. It starts to starts to spin the disc, but um, there's a power supply problem with it. Uh, on occasion, it will dim the display, and it will try to do things. Or you see, you can see now what happens on the display. It just goes crazy. Uh, but the mechanical part is all right. The reason uh, that it uh, suffers from this is. Uh, Oh, you can see flashing. It just hasn't got enough power to to do things. The reason behind it is that see like capacitors here. There's a gunk, red gunk. They just um, probably not, haven't exploded but leaked, and I suspect that uh, a lot of them would need to be be replaced. But other than that, it um, when mechanics are good, will fix the capacitor, check the all the voltage regulators, and uh, and it should be a going concerned. It's a very good unit if you count. There's a nice copper sinks and you have one, two, three, four, five, six regulators that I can see. So that's a for a CD player that's that's a lot. And you know massive big transformer and um, you know multi voltage unit. Excellent mechanism so smooth you never see better. Uh, visually it's reasonable, it has a bit of a problem here as you see with uh, mirror finish. Well, once we clean it up it should be good. We can perhaps fit some valves or different digital converter, we'll see how it go. Thank you very much for watching.